Can he take himself to the top of the leaderboard all on his lonesome? Look at the throng of support for the Masters champion. Gets Adam Scott leads the tournament. So we just saw Scotty came down now. Chilean on the tenth. Second shot. Short right pin. Don't want to go right at this. That's really good for distance. Now Neiman for birdie on 10 to get to 11. Now oh, makes it easy. Nice to see the South American come play in Australia. Two week campaign. Made that beautifully. That's the men's update. Now Joachim Neiman. Can he go to 12 under? You bet he can. They're lining up for a crack at the title. Third shot here at the par 5 14th for Joaquin Neiman. Second to the par 5s on the back nine. That would have been for Eagle. He'll make birdie. What a day. Here's Hoshino with an approach shot to 12. <laughs> boy, oh boy, it's all happening, isn't it? 128 for Hoshino. Up the hill, Breeze off his right. He likes to draw it, so starting it well right, drawing back on an excellent line. Oh, what a oh, shot. Yeah. Oh, right. that doesn't come back down, actually. So Minji Lee's ball. Shot into um, 12 today, come back down that slope. This would be huge. Yeah. Our runner-up from the Australian PGA last week is one behind our leader this week. So Neiman at 17. On the right. Coming out of the rough stuff on the right, and he's hung it out there, I think. A long way right. Oh! It's on the path. That's a big <laughs> It's on the path. I'm coaching always. It's on the path, <laughs> and you'll have to... Now over to Neiman. This is going to be exciting. <laughs> needs to settle. Yeah, great shot! What touch. He's there. Exactly what he needed to do, just make sure that that ball was going to stay on the green there because the toll behind there was a water hazard and more trouble, so he's done extremely well, Neiman. One behind for long if Neiman can't make this par attempt on 17. Left to right this. It's quickly low. Low from Neiman. He's going to drop one. Back to 13 with Oshino that just moved to 13 under. Alex Fitzpatrick one behind. Now, now we're, we're trying to find out how he got to this one. Now, there is a drop zone in the hospitality tent, so he hit his second into the hospitality tent. Yeah. yeah, so I think he's gone here to have a look. Yeah, so he's hit his drive right and he's went through the marquee to have a to have a look at where the green sits. Hang on. So he's hit that long way right off the tee. Right. Look at this. He's driven it into the hospitality. Oh. It's a 400 oh. meter hit. Well, yeah, but he's driven, he's driven behind it on the right. And so the only way that he has an idea of where yeah. the green well, still, sits is actually to go in the hospitality tent to look at how much margin he has to where the green sits and where the water is wow. without taking un un unnecessary risks. Right. Entertainment at its oh, best, Matt. He's all happening. What is he going to do now? It doesn't look like he's that far back behind the tree. This needs to be high. Yeah.
now. Moment of truth here. Neiman. from halfway. The first putt's downhill, then it goes back up on the slower at the end. It was actually a very good attempt. But I think after the tee shot, he would have taken a four. He leads the golf tournament. Joaquin Neiman will head to the clubhouse and has a nervous wait ahead, but he is a one-stroke leader at 14 under, and the safety of the clubhouse is probably the best place to be at this stage. Kuyu Hoshino trails Joaquin Neiman by one. What a drive you on. It was. It was that three wood, the old topspin forehand drawer around the corner that ran about 40 metres, 137 to the flag, and it is a pin position that he will love over there on the left. Choking down on an eight iron, trying to drive it low and draw it in, but it's hanging a little right. on the top shelf. Chasing out. Break in! Break in! Rikuyo joins the lead. He's at 14 under and has the par five still to come. Yes, like Eddie was trying to do exactly that. <laughs> It's able to see Andy and get relief through the green now. Oshino, most important wet shot in his career right here. Well, this is a tough situation for Oshino because the crowd is rushing up behind him. Minghui Lee's making his way up. The shot itself here, 93 metres, is exactly where you said he wanted to leave himself, Nick. It's looking straight up the green. Not an overly difficult shot. And this man is as good as anyone with the wedges in hand. Downwind, we're looking to land this some 10, 12 feet short. One bounce, skip it up. Get in. Staring it down. Oh, it backs up. We'll have that to win it in regulation. Locked together with Neiman. To win it right here. And after he's been so bold for a fortnight here in Australia, he comes up short. And we're going to head to extra time here in Sydney. Rikuya Hoshino, he posts 14 under and joins Joaquin Neiman. And folks, we have a play. With Hoshino in that left bunker, that's going to force Neiman to aim. He's just a little left of the flag. Good strike on it. Go. Oh, what a shot! Lucky Neiman has an eager chance to potentially win the Stonehaven Cup. Oh, that's a gutsy shot right there, taking on the whole length of the water to make it and then hope after he teed off in round four.
the Stonehaven Cup. Yeah, thanks, Warren. Joaquin, the first uh, major weight for it, the first South American champion of this championship in its 108-year history. All wins are special, but this one must feel pretty good. Yeah, it was a nice deja vu at the last one. Uh, Make me made myself a little bit more stressful. I obviously I've been. I mean, this last two playoff holes is what what it shows. I, how I've been playing the, the last two weeks here in Australia. My putting hasn't been the best, but working in. Working hard on it, and yeah, I mean, it's nice to make the last putt. Uh, like we, like we practice with Eric back home. You know, we always uh, do those drills, like three, four, five feet, uh, and we always imagine like one of those putts will be to win a tournament. So there is one of those. Well, tell us about this 18th hole. It's a very entertaining hole, but the way you've played it, the 72nd hole, the first playoff hole, and then an eagle here to when you want to wrap this up and take it home with you. Yeah, it should have come a little bit one hole earlier, but but yeah, uh, yeah, I mean. Amazing, it's so raining now. <laughs> Congratulations, we'll see you soon. A kiss from Christina and a trophy to take home. Give it a kiss, Mark. We're going to do it. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.